Hello everybody, how's it going today? My name is Joe Bodone and I am a real estate agent. This video is the seventh edition to my first time home buyers video series. And in this video, we are going to talk about the closing process. The closing process happens after the bank has approved your appraisal. All right. And during a period of time, it could be a couple hours, it could be a couple days, it could be a couple weeks. We're waiting for the bank to give the clear to close. Once the bank clears it, the house to close, uh, what, what's going to happen at that point in time is the listing agent is going to schedule the closing. They're going to pick the time, they're going to pick the date, they're going to pick the location. Once we know the time and place of that closing, it is now there's a handful of things that the, buy, the buyer is going to have to do that you're going to have to do and I will help you with. The first and probably the most important thing is we need to set up a money wire transfer of a certified fund that's going to go from your bank account to the title company. Now, the amount that is transferred has been provided to you by the lending institution. The lending institution, you're going to know your closing costs, and you're also going to know what money you're coming to the table with with down payment. That money needs to be transferred to the title company. We set this money transfer up a handful of days, maybe even a week before the closing. And the reason we do this is to make sure to verify that the funds have actually cleared, that the title company actually has possession of the funds, because if they don't, it can A, delay closing, B, it potentially could prevent closing altogether. So that's the first thing. The second thing that happens is you need to transfer the utilities, the electric, the gas, the utilities that are associated with the house need to be transferred into your name on the day of possession. Day of possession, in this case, for this video, we're going to say is going to happen on the day of closing. Okay, but there actually can be a difference, but we're not going to cover that in this video because that will uh, that's beyond the scope of this video. So once the utilities have been set up to transfer and the money wire transfer has been set up, the last thing that needs to happen is what we call the final walkthrough. Now, if I'm representing you, we do the final walk through the day of closing, okay? So on the way to closing, when we're driving there, I'm going to have you meet me at the house. We're going to go into the house, and we're going to do what's called the final walkthrough. By law, the house is required to be kept into what they call broom swept condition and free of debris and clutter. What this is essentially saying is they need to have all their belongings removed from that home, and the floors need to be swept, and nothing needs to be left on the counters or anything like that. Okay, we're going to look for that. And then the second thing we're going to do is we're going to do a once over. We're going to make sure that all the fixtures are put in place. Everything that was agreed upon within the contract is in place. Uh, we're also going to make sure that there's no last minute damage that has been done to the house. Um, if there's anything wrong with the house, now is the time to let me know. Not at closing right now because what I can do is get on the horn with the listing agent and I can start trying to negotiate and try to get the situation remedied before we go to the closing table. So... Once we go to the closing table, it's essentially that. So once all the negotiations have been taken for taken care of, we go to the negotiating table at the office that the, that the closing is taking place. You're going to sign a bunch of documents. Once the documents are signed, the listing agent is going to hand you keys to, to your new home. You will now be a first-time home owner. Now, that moment is a very special moment okay that's actually what i live for that's why i do what i do to see the look on somebody's face when they become a first-time home owner that's a very exciting time of your life and if you made it to that point uh, that's awesome right so if you did receive value from this video do me a favor uh, go ahead and subscribe to this channel give it a thumbs up put any questions comments concerns in the comment section and secondly if you are in the market to buy or sell your house and you within the state of Michigan, go ahead and reach out to me at joerealdeals at gmail.com and I'd be glad to answer, answer any of your questions and get the process started. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.